All right, joining us to share his thoughts on Biden's sniveling snub, National Border Patrol Union President Brandon Judd. Brandon, it's always great to see you. President Trump had planned this in advance. You will be with him. He will be at a place where there actually is a crisis. In Brownsville, it's not so bad right now where the president is going. He wants to be somewhere where it's sanitized so he can again say it's not as bad as everybody thinks it is. Having said that, he's now piggybacking onto this Trump trip to make it look like to the people who are mad about immigration when they go to the polls, he's trying to do something. At the end of the day, though, Brandon, you know as well as I do, you cannot please everybody here and a trip like this it's just not going to work for him no and especially for the border patrol agents they are extremely upset we're all upset that he is going to brownsville rather than going to an area where he would be able to evaluate exactly what's going on and and to come up with ideas and policies to actually secure the border rather he's going to brownsville and that's the exact opposite of what president trump is doing he's coming right here to eagle pass he's going to see exactly um what has been done to secure this particular area so then he can expand upon that when he gets back in the white house that's exactly what policymakers should do that's what people that govern should do they should look at the areas that are trouble spots so that they can uh, use what has worked and expand upon that Biden just isn't going to do that. Now, Brandon, I continue to hear the White House, and it's frustrating, keep talking about how Joe Biden's been trying to secure the border, and if Republicans would just pass his, his amnesty bill. I, I know the Border Patrol, you want a bill. Um, you want money. But when you look at when uh, the, uh, the White House transitioned from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, did you see the rules of engagement actually change where, when Joe Biden signed his 90-plus executive orders on how you can engage migrants at the border? Did you see that change? Yeah, everything changed under, under President Biden. The way we patrol the border, our operations have changed. The way we vet people has changed. The way we process people through the system has changed. Everything that we do has changed under this administration. And, and it's not about enforcement. It's about getting in, people into this country as quickly as they possibly can. And so we've become extremely efficient at doing that. And we're all sick of it because we know that if this administration would do what is necessary, we wouldn't have the deaths that we have in this country. Not just like in Riley. Look at all of the fentanyl poisonings that we're, we're seeing in the United States. We could stop that if we had the proper policy. He won't give it to us because his open border base won't let him. We've got about 30 seconds, Brandon, so real quick. We already have a problem with the immigrants who have come into this country illegally over the course of the last three years. Even if he put the ax, the hammer down right now and said nobody else can come in, we still have a massive problem on our hands dealing with what we have. Yeah, he's already let more than 8 million people into the United States. So even if we shut it down right now, we would still have to deal with all of those individuals that are here. We don't have the resources to do that. It's a major catastrophe. He, he should own it. I wish he would. But unfortunately, you and I both know that that's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. I love when we talk about the vetting process. Uh, we're vetting people and we're getting, you know, gang members from Venezuela who yeah. come in and are shooting up New York City down in Georgia, as you mentioned. It's, this, it's a horrible situation. It has to be redone. We need new leadership. Brandon Judd, good luck with President Trump tomorrow. Thanks for being with us on The Bottom Line.